Hey guys, so it is uh, the fifth day, fourth day of Vlogoween. Uh, if you can hear that wrestling, that's my dogs. Uh, I decided to do outside today because it's like 88, 90 degrees, and it's pretty nice outside. So, um, despite the fact I'm wearing sweatpants and I got my Vader shirt on representing the dark side. Uh, I, I think I would be, I don't like either, like, extremes. I think I would be a moderate, which only exists, I think, in the books. That's Sasha. Sasha's a Tamascan, so she looks like a wolf and she sounds like a raptor. Uh, but there's no wolf in her. She's a um, Malamute, Husky, German Shepherd, and there's bugs everywhere. Um, I guess because it's so nice out. And I have an Anatolian named Cyrus. He was a rescue. He's part Anatolian. He's part Anatolian. So he has that big fluffy tail and that big broad chest. But he has like a, a swooping uh, to his backside. Underneath. <laughs> They're just going crazy. Um, so he has a big barrel chest and he has like really super long legs, looks like a basketball player, and you go up and he'll jump up and his head will actually be up here. Well, up here, like up here. If he puts his nose up, it'll be higher than my head. So he's a big boy. And then we have Vigo, which is a little Sheltie mix that we got, and there's a train. <sighs> no more train? No more train. Like my train of thought, like I don't sit down and script these things out, I just kind of talk. And I guess that's why they're so short, because I don't have much to talk about. Um, I'm kind of, in a way, homebound, because I have really bad fibromyalgia and I don't work. So, um, I try to keep myself busy, it's kind of hard. Like today I'm working on Christmas presents everyone I don't have a lot of money because I don't get a lot of money coming in from disability so I am making Christmas presents this year one of my super good friends is pregnant so I am going to make her daughter it's so exciting I, I don't usually get excited about babies like I was excited when my sister was pregnant but I don't get to see her that much because she lives out in frost which is like two hours away it's, uh, now there's people honking. Um, I, I apparently live in a very noisy neighborhood. I never noticed that before. And a car just drove by. I'm on my side yard, so it's out of the sun. I thought that was a bug. It's a rock. It's a rock. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> Maybe I should have these things scripted because I have ADHD and I just go all over the place. I. I'm gonna subject top like crazy today because I don't really, I don't really know what to talk about all the way, all the way, except for the fact that was not even close to the thing that I was going to say, except for the fact that it's vlogween and I promised myself every day I would vlog. It's harder on the weekends because I like spending time with um, my boyfriend and my best friend, but when my best friend's over, we can do vlogs. But my boyfriend will absolutely have nothing to do with the camera. <laughs> he is extremely camera shy. Um, he thinks he's very non-photogenic and hates pictures and videos of himself. So the only one that I actually have him in, him in is one of my first ones when we're doing the music standoff. And now there's a plane. Planes, trains, and automobiles. There was nothing going on when I was inside. I was watching, uh, I was working on my um, Christmas decorations, no, gifts, on my Christmas gifts, and watching Orange is the New Black, the new season of it, not the new season, the third season, with the riots, and it is driving me up a wall, because now they're in the, okay, I, um, now stuff is happening, and it's, like, it's frustrating. <laughs> I don't want to give it away. I want to talk about it so bad, but I don't want to give it away. It's kind of like Dexter, like when I was watching Dexter, I was the almost the last, my best friend is like, Dana is, is watching Dexter now, and I want to tell her what happened so bad because it was such, 
they switched writers and the writer like didn't know how to handle what was going on and it got kind of, now there's a freaking helicopter a freaking helicopter what the freak but uh but i don't i don't want to ruin it for her but she'll say things and i'm just like you don't even know um so it's october and we have these little houses across the street that get rented out they used to be for the rodeo because i live really close to uh, where they do the rodeo every year which i can never remember the name of i always want to say tom something but that's completely wrong it's actually literally across the street from me and I can't remember the name of it to save my life. I can't remember things at all. The fiber of fog is real. In fact, I need to go take my medication because it's getting bad. But um, they're cute little, here, I'll show you. See, they're really cute little um, duplexes. And, I'm gonna put it back. And um, one of them is decorated thinking it's a bug it's a rock it's always a rock Aaron it's a rock I can't get comfortable okay and um, one of them went all out like she has pumpkins on her or fall foliage on her door and pumpkins as you put out a bench and I say she I was actually seeing a man um, decorating it which makes me happy I need to put my pumpkins out but I put them out dude I put them out so early last year my boyfriend said I put them out in like August. I don't think I put them out at all. I don't think it was that early. But we had such a brutal summer that they got faded. And he thinks I should paint them before I put them back out because they're so faded. But the problem is like I want to get new ones but I collected them over uh, I think two years and I went to Target and Michaels and I worked at Michaels for a little while so I got for the um, uh, seasonal that's what I was trying that's another car good god for a seasonal and when I got really desperate for a job and uh, we got ridiculous discounts dude like ridiculous discounts and so I was buying up stuff like left and right I was just like here's your paycheck well just gonna hand it over because I want pumpkins. I love jack lanterns. I love them so much. If I weren't, if I didn't have feels and views on it, I would get jack lantern pumpkins all over me, tattoos. I don't have feels and views about like anyone else, but like for me, it's it's a hard decision because it's going to be on my body forever. So I, in my last boyfriend who I was with for 10 years, he had a lot of views that kind of stuck with me and um, I don't know why but he had such a mental hold on me uh, that it makes me question and made me question the things that I want and makes me question things that I want even to this day and my hair I feel like a mushroom I feel like a freaking mushroom. Oh, look, at, we can see my grays coming back. Apparently, they're not as bad as when I worked, but I'm still stressed out because of some of the, the people that I lost and some of the things that happened um, earlier this month or later last, or later in the month, last month. And you can tell because my hair starts going gray. It's one of the fabulous things about being me. Let's see what else. Oh, I uh, speaking of that, I wrote a poem and a card for each of the persons, each person that I lost uh, last month. And I got a card back from the judge, uh, his his wife, that it was really important to her and that my words were touching to her. And when I saw that it was from her, I kind of freaked out because I was like. Maybe she wouldn't remember me, or maybe she was mad. I don't know. I have great anxiety about people, about reaching out to people, and then what they think about me reaching out. Um, 
I don't know, it's like, mosquito. It's like, I always expect people to be mad or irritated when I reach out to them. And my, my saying is love and light, because I'm not exactly religious, but I believe in putting positive things out into the universe. And so that love and light is what I try to put out into the universe for them. I, and I call it like lighting a candle, like physically putting light out there for that person. And she was nothing but thankful that I had reached out and that was, and then she took the time to like write this card for me and that was really amazing and my best friend sent me flowers, which it's hard to keep flowers in the house because our freaking cat, well one cat, yeah I have three dogs and two cats, I have a lot of animals, which I really should this month introduce you to Ivan and Anton, our two cats, and then Cyrus, Vigo, and Sasha, our three dogs. Um, Vigo, <laughs> we were planning on getting a corgi, well actually we, the, the three of us, because I live with um, a roommate and my boyfriend. Well, that's another story I could get, really get into. Uh, we would take turns picking animals and Sasha was Casey's and Cyrus was mine and so the next person was supposed to be Brady but I fell in love with this little anxiety ridden yappy crazy little Sheltie and I had just gotten out of the hospital and it was really hard for the boys to say no to me. <laughs> So we have Vigo and when we're supposed to have the corgi, so I call him the corgi that wasn't Or that that isn't the corgi that isn't the corgi that wasn't which I guess is a little mean But it's kind of true. So now we have walkers. I Guess it's that time of day where like everyone's like getting home and getting out and and doing stuff Like I mean, I'm out here and can't fault anybody else for being out here except that it's awkward you know, sitting here talking to myself. But I guess maybe that's more acceptable now. People might think I'm FaceTiming or something with somebody. I am the weird girl or the weird, the weird old lady that sits on her porch. So I'm watching the world go by. If it was a little cooler, I would take Cyrus out for a walk, but this, the I, I worry about his little pads because they, they crack real easily. And I don't want him, he loves walks, you, he can probably hear me say the word, word walk and you might hear him barking, there's another dog barking. The world is just full of sounds and I don't appreciate it. Um, what was I saying, if it was a little cooler I would take him out, but in about 90 degrees the cement gets really really hot and he, you can hear me talk about them, and he doesn't like me. Well, he doesn't like walking on the grass for some reason. Like, he'll prance on the grass, but he likes walking on the cement. I, he probably doesn't care, but I care about his pads, so I don't, I don't take it. I don't take him for a walk if it's, if it's 90 degrees, um, which he's going to be really happy whenever next week, I think it's supposed to be in the 80s, and I'm supposed to be walking because I need to lose weight. I'm about nine pounds overweight right now, like like honestly overweight, not like vanity pounds, um, because I have fibromyalgia and I'm really small and I have some other complications. It's really dangerous for me to get overweight, over thirty pounds. Over thirty pounds, yes, I can't be over thirty pounds. I need to be a toddler. Um, are toddlers that big? I've seen toddler clothing. Like Grayvale girl was looking for. Bunny was looking for something for her avatar baby and she found something for nine months and for nine months it's like big and I'm like is a nine month old that big? I guess I'm gonna find out with with TC being pregnant um, which apparently is going really well I'm really happy for her that it's not because my, my sister had a really hard pregnancy like a really hard pregnancy when she got pregnant the second time um, she was actually put on medication that they give cancer patients to keep from vomiting and losing weight and the pain. So it was pretty bad. We have more walkers. They're looking over at me like I'm crazy. That's okay. I am crazy. It's alright. Oh wow, it's been 14 minutes of me talking about nothing. Um, I guess that's it really. I just, you know, this was a real true vloggy vlog. Just me talking about nothing. 
for October Vlogween. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. It's just me rambling. This is me, just rambling, conversational. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. You get that line, you're awesome. So I guess I'll go. Bye.